Welcome to the Sitecore Architecture and Scaling Overview video series. Through a series of videos, we'll investigate the Sitecore Experience Manager, which is the foundation for a content management product and for delivering personalized experiences across channels. We will dive into the topology roles and data flows and scaling options available. The Sitecore 9 product series consists of three major products, the Sitecore Experience Manager, the Sitecore Experience Platform, and finally, the Sitecore Experience Commerce product. Each of the Sitecore products contains a number of logical entities, which together with a number of cloud services forms the entire functionality of the Sitecore platform. The Sitecore Experience Manager product consists of a subset of logical roles across the entire product suite. In the video series for the Sitecore Experience Manager, we'll dive into six overall business processes, which covers the data flows between the logical entities and which should help you understand the capabilities of the product and what to scale to cover your business needs. The processes are content management, publishing, content delivery, personalization, forms management, and data exchange. The primary application roles in the Sitecore Experience Manager product are the content delivery and content management roles. These roles are not only essential for the, content, uh, for the Sitecore Experience Manager product, but central for the entire Sitecore product portfolio. The content delivery and content management roles are called core roles. This effectively means that they are sharing code bases and running the core Sitecore application. For simplicity, that means that these two logical roles can be combined into a single running application. Or for scalability, they can be split up into separate running applications across multiple servers. Surrounding the Sitecore core roles are a number of storage roles and search indexes, which are referenced by the content management and content delivery roles.